the autologous chondrocyte implantation kind of uh, found its genesis from you, you take a sample of cartilage cells from the patient and, and you grow, you basically multiply it in a lab. And then you inject it back into the patient, uh, you know, over the, the site where the, where the cartilage is damaged. And you can either have it under a sort of synthetic matrix, uh, kind of a, a, to cover it, or, or you can use the periosteum um, to cover it. There's other things you can use as well. Uh, and so that's kind of the, I'd say probably the most high tech uh, technique that we have at the moment. Um, you know, it still has its limits. Uh, it's it's good in terms of giving you sort of a biologic re, sort of resurfacing, but from a structural standpoint, may not necessarily be as uh, sturdy as some others, and it takes a little bit of time to heal. Um, and so that's kind of its 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 drawback.